Howdy folks, Master of Sobe here. If you were like me, then you could not wait to dive into the world of Palea on the 10th of August when the open beta went out. But if you were like me, then you ran into a little issue where your hardware was kind of holding your experience back. So I'm going to show you what settings I use, and hopefully that can help you out to get the most out of your hardware to enjoy Palea the way it was meant to be enjoyed. Alright, so let's take a look at the recommended spec and the minimum spec on Paleo Support website. For recommended spec, we have Windows 10, Intel i5 7000 series, AMD Ryzen 3 3000 series, 8 gigs of RAM, GPU NVIDIA GTX 1060, or the AMD RX 580 with 4 gigs of VRAM. Now let's take a look at the minimum spec, and this is where it gets a little goofy in my opinion. They suggest Windows 10, Intel Core i5 4000 series, or an AMD FX 8350, 4 gigs of RAM, and here's the crazy one here, GeForce GTS 660, or Radeon R9 270. Those are some really low-end graphic cards, and that's what makes this crazy, is that I have a 1060 in my system, and this thing yeah. ran like an absolute potato when I started it up for the first time. And just to give you a bit more insight on that, I'm running an i7 7000 series, 32 gigs of RAM that's operating at 2400 megahertz, and the before mentioned GTX 1060. All right, so taking all that into consideration, when I read the recommended minimum specs that they put up on their website, I was thinking that I should be able to run it somewhere around the high to medium settings, because that's what they recommend according to my setup, which basically matches the recommended spec. But as most of us know, these specs that are on these websites for recommended and minimum settings typically don't line up with what you actually experience in game. And if you look at this gameplay footage right here, you can see how it's stuttering. I think the frame rates, honestly, are probably around 15 to 30. It looks better on the video that you're watching right now, but I'm telling you, the screen is stuttering. You can feel it in the input whenever you're trying to go left to right. When things are happening, maybe in between frames that you're actually seeing on screen. That's where the input gets thrown off. Uh, I could be running and then all of a sudden I stop running. Oh wow, it's like it happened right on cue, but yeah, it's it's playable. Don't get me wrong, by like by no means is this unplayable. It is playable. But it definitely for me is immersive breaking because it's just it's not a smooth experience. It's not very relaxing at all, and that's what this game is supposed to be. I'll just go over the settings that, that this is in right now, just so you can see. Uh, it is in 1080. Uh, and it is on high. Now, when I hit auto set quality presets, let's see what it comes up as. It put me at epic. Yeah. See, it puts me at epic. Um, that's what I thought it did. And it looks nice. And, and again, it may be hard to see on screen, but it this has to be at like 15. It's It feels like it's bouncing between 15 and 30. I don't have a frame capture, uh, a F FPS capture on right now, but... I'm telling you, it is... Oh, there you go. You can, I mean, I know you gotta see that. Like, it's... It's all over the place right now. So, again, by no means is it unplayable, but it definitely is immersion-breaking. So, let's take a look at some settings. I'm gonna show you that you can change that will instantly improve the smoothest of your gameplay. Okay, so I've just made those changes. Let's go take a look at them real quick. Going into settings... And graphics. So first things first, resolution down to 720. Now, obviously, you're going to lose a little bit of the sharpness here. Uh, but just seeing how much more smooth this is is really going to make a big difference. It almost even gives it more of like a painterly kind of like whimsical feel to it. So it's almost uh, it almost fits with the theme of the game anyway. So I like it, in my opinion. I'm also getting kind of used to it. It does take some getting used to. Um, I did... Pop the quality presets back down to high, and I left them alone. I didn't mess with anything. You can fine-tune some of these things. Um, the view distance, uh, shadows is definitely one that you could turn down. Um, uh, foliage was, is going to help a lot, probably. Um, it, they are things that definitely kind of take away from the game. But you just, I mean, if you're like I am, you just want that nice, smooth, at least 60 frames per second. Uh, feeling so that actually brings me to the second uh, or the third point I'm gonna make here uh, limit your frame rate to 60 
uh, unless you're doing something. I mean, if you're watching this video, you shouldn't be worried about anything over 60. Uh, <laughs> if you have uh, the uh, potato-like computer uh, that I have as well, um, definitely want to try to just stick at 60. Get your uh, get your cap at 60. It'll keep it looking smooth. And let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So I've got all those applied now. Look at this compared to the, to the previous uh, the, the 1080. I mean, just just like fantastic. In my opinion, um, the the hardware that they suggest is probably just for like bare minimum. I I mean I guess like that is what it is. Like this is the bare minimum equipment you could have that will run the game. But I'm telling you, if you have those bare minimum settings, uh, you're not going to be able to play this game with any kind of enjoyment. It's going to be an absolute mess for you. Uh, so if you do have something, uh, some 1000 series graphic card um, from NVIDIA or the equivalent uh, Radeon card, I suggest you make those changes that we just went over. I really feel like once you do it, even though I know you're losing the sharpness, but once you go down to 720, keep the presets around high or even medium. I'll just show you what medium looks like, by the way. Let me just, I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place, but let's check that out real quick. I'm, I'm, uh, let's see, yeah, boom, graphic, okay, and then medium. Yeah, I'm going to show you, it doesn't look bad, right? You're not losing... You see, like, first thing that, that I just noticed immediately was the foliage on the ground. It's a lot more, uh, bare. It's more bare, right? But you can even see it still doesn't look, like, barren. It's not like you can't see anything. Uh, I mean, and now, uh, good lord, I mean, it's just as smooth as it could be now. So those changes right there are something that you can do that doesn't cost any money, doesn't require any additional hardware, any additional software, and you can improve the smoothness and the clarity of Palea immediately. So, if you found this video helpful, please drop a like on the video. I really appreciate it. And let me know down in the comments what kind of settings you're running and what kind of performance you're getting out of your game. But thank y'all very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Thank y'all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed that video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Also, check out one of the other two videos down below.